Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning into Tips and Tricks. Today's tip and trick, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your buffer length by reducing reverb and delay. I have just a regular, you know, drum and bass or, sorry, dubstep drum kit, drum pattern happening. Um, and it's, it's, it's dull, but we're going to spice things up. Now, usually... A lot of people just, um, you know, put reverbs everywhere along the board, and that's going to slow down your computer a whole lot, all right? Any time delay effect, um, you know, takes a lot of CPU, okay? So I'm going to show you a really easy way and a really efficient way to set up your reverbs uh, and delays, okay? So first thing, let's highlight everything here and make sure they are on the board. Highlight this, right click. And then we go to link select channels and then starting from this track. So let's shift control L. Okay. Now when I want to press play. Everything shows up on the board. Now I want you to pay close attention to my stairs. All right. Okay. It's really simple. I also have another snare that comes over here. Really low. I also have this certain special kick. And we're going to add reverb delays all over okay so there we go this is my special kick and usually we just you know put delays on here right away you know uh, we don't want to do that so I have set up reverbs and delays on my mix board already I have them on my sense so that they don't move as I go across the board see that they stay there I'm at uh, you know 99 they're still there, so that's a really good thing there. And let's add a delay. Um, let's add a weird delay here. I have these are my settings. Let's route it there. So we highlight my kick and we bring it up on the small little knob down here. And I'll put it down to 30%. Keep your effects low, uh, you don't want to uh, overdo it. In this case, we can keep going. Another thing that we want to do, go into your effects, make sure you have only the effect and none of the um, direct sound. So we're going to turn down the dry all the way and there you go. That sounds cool. Let's maybe slow that down a little bit. There you go. Let's add some cut. And then offset a little bit so it gives that ear candy, ping pong effect, feedback, a lot. Good. And you know, let's take off the cut. Maybe add a little bit of cut. Okay, so we have that first thing happening. The next thing we want to do is go to my to my snare. In this case, it's a clap. It's on six. There we go. Let's put some reverb. Go into my reverb. Make sure the dry is all the way down. Ear candy to the fullest. And you want to increase the wet and early reflections all the way up. I'll make a really big room. I know a lot of dubstep cats like to have a really wet snare, so we'll do that. Eighty percent is fine. I don't want to oversaturate that. Let's go to my new snare here. Right at the end, I'm gonna add a delay and a reverb. So I'll highlight my snare. Go to a slower delay. Well, a fast delay. We'll, we'll make it a fast delay. And then add a second reverb, different kind of reverb. We'll put it at like 50. There we go. Turn down. Uh, reverb all the way up. Dry all the way down. Color, we'll make it warm. Room size, I like, we'll make it small. And uh, I usually like big rooms. Diffusion, we'll put it like 60. My slow delay is not that slow, so we'll call it fast delay. 
decrease the time on that delay. A lot of feedback, ping pong effect. I really love ear candy, so you know, just really helps. And now you can hear that cool snare at the end. This delay on there. Let's make that a little faster also. That sounds cool. Now you can go into your, you know, go ahead in the rest of your mix, add in the favorite compressor that you like. I like the sound goodizer. Right? Go my clap, do all that. So just make sure that uh, all your time-based effects are, you know, bust out, okay, and all your other effects are directly on the, on the strip, okay, like for instance my compressor's on there, my compressor's on here, but I have a reverb on this clap, but it's just sent over to another channel so that we can group and organize everything all at once. Alright guys, so I hope this tips and trick, this tip and trick helps. I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave one below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!